Hi there, Living Light family. I hope everybody's doing well today. I hope you can hear me all right. I've seemed to have misplaced my earbuds and microphone, so I hope you can hear me today because we're going back to Eden the way it was supposed to be, where we love and honor where we where we live, honor ourselves, love and honor ourselves because we have been through hell and survived. I'm here to remind you this readings may not resonate for everybody. When I do my cards, I know it's my energy coming through because I don't have permission to read for others. And you can accept this reading if you want and leave a comment. It gives me access to your energy. Other than that, I'm here. I'm focusing on myself and how I can better myself to be of a better service to all of humanity, whether that be just using my vessel as a vessel of love and a way of transmuting others' pain, whatever energy's in the air, I call in and, and I transmute it. And it shows up in various different ways. So I've done a reading for us. I pulled some cards and right off the top, I want to tell you, you are a spiritual warrior. All the connections you've made, the flower of life, each person you touch, touches another person, and so on and so on, which creates a circle of love, healing, passion, joy, peace, upliftment. Archangel Michael says to remember who you are. You are a powerful, loving, and creative child of God, and you are loved. So know that all that power, all that love that's emanating off your body, off your energy field, brings comfort to others. So call in Archangel Azrael. He is with you in your time of need, helping your heart to heal. So as I heal, I heal others. Realize all the love that you've shared with yourself, within your heart, within your solar plexus, within your crown chakra, is emanating outward into the earth and helping everybody else that's on earth. You'll notice a change in your household because you are expanding. And as you expand, others expand with you. Know that God blesses those who patiently endure testing and temptation. Afterward, they will receive the crown of life that God has promised to those who love him. It's James chapter 1 verse 12. So know that all the love that you've been giving out hasn't been gone out unnecessarily. Know that you are changing. You are changing yourself. You're changing others. And the sleeping dragon that lies within you has been, been there for a long time, waiting for this moment. When you can control your anger and turn it into love, it's a mighty force that no one can stop. Not you and not anybody else. Keep asking God for the guidance that you need. He will never take you down a road that will cause you harm. God bless you guys. <laughs>